So earlier today, GTA 6 map has been leaked once again, showing us how massive Vice City is going to be. So down here at this website, there's going to be a picture that we're going to go ahead and look at and we are going to talk about for a good minute. Okay, so this is part of the map that potentially has been leaked right over here which is going to be Vice City, and we know it's going to be Vice City from all of the other previous leaked uh, information from, you know, the prior, I would say, years of investigating that everybody's done. You know, where is GTA 6 going to be? It's going to be in Vice City. We already know that. When is it going to be released? Well, uh, I would say popular enthusiast, Tez2, says that we're going to see a GTA 6 trailer this year. Now, the reason for that, and potentially we're going to be seeing GTA 6 release in 2024 or 2025, is because they have to keep up with productivity, basically. They got to get this stuff out, and it's already been leaked to that a big chunk of GTA 6 is basically being taken out and going to be released later on as some sort of DLC and I don't know if that's gonna be like a map expansion or something like that now something that they didn't add in here either uh, I would say is Keoprico which would be located way down here in the corner which is just a tiny little island so you guys can get an idea right here and once again we don't know if this is like the entirety of the map we don't know if it's going to be an island or if it's just going to end right here, up here. It seems like this is be a little bit uh, unprobable. I would think that this would be probably maybe some sort of island, but maybe not. Seeing as how it's maybe supposed to be representing like Florida or something like that in the United States. And it's supposed to be like an offshoot of the country. If you guys know like how the shape of United States is. It's got, you know, Florida, that offshoot right there, which would be potentially this. And another thing, like, too, that I'm really noticing here on this map leak is look how big this city is right here. And then, like, look at all this stuff. Like, I don't really see, like, a huge city. Although, there could be some sort of massive huge city, like, within here or something like that. I don't even know, you know. And, and none of us really know because none of that information has been leaked by Rockstar. But one thing that hopefully we can hope for is Tez2 being right on the money, which he usually has been year after year when it comes to uh, GTA in general. And we will get to see that trailer this year because you guys know that like GTA 6 was already leaked by that hacker dude who got in a lot of trouble and he's probably in prison and he's going to stay in prison and he's not even going to be able to play GTA 6 when it comes out. But I just wanted to go ahead and talk about this real quick because the map potentially has been leaked here. And you guys can get a real good idea on the comparison of, you know, playing GTA 5. Um, basically, okay, so this is what I've done before just to give you guys some reference on how big the map is. So way up here, I made a video on this before, okay? Way up here, I started on foot and I ran all the way across the map on foot all the way through here all the way through the city all the way through the airport to the very end right here and it ended up only taking me a little less than 35 minutes to do that on foot now if you were going to try that and red dead redemption uh trying to cross the whole map of red dead redemption on foot that would take you quite a bit but it looks like probably from point like, like way up here if you're going to go from the corner to the corner or something it would probably take you a good 40 to 50 minutes to traverse all of the, uh, you know, all the land right here. But once again, we don't know if this chunk right here is the whole entirety of the map. This is just a potentially piece of the map that has been leaked. And that's what I wanted to go ahead and talk about and show you guys uh, what basically the map is going to look like. We have a whole bunch of these little islands down here and stuff like that. Uh, which is pretty crazy. I don't really know what it all entitles, but I am super excited for GTA 6. Everybody's been waiting for this super anticipated game to come out. And as it gets even closer, uh, you know, but not close enough, it seems, everybody is getting super hyped up about this. Uh, you know, and the question is, too, in my mind, are you guys ready to leave GTA 5 and completely just leave it behind and move on to GTA 6? And how cool would it be? If at some point you guys see how like these maps are side by side, if we couldn't like coexist 
in different GTA like worlds because what are they gonna do with GTA 5 just leave it behind or do you guys think like what I think is GTA 5 later on is going to be a DLC like they're going to revamp this map and they're gonna do a lot of stuff probably to it finish some buildings up and other things like that and then bring it back into the game of GTA online later on potentially with uh, <clears throat> excuse me bringing in Liberty City as well which would be the New York uh, thing right there and then we would have three huge maps to potentially explore and go to which would be uh, awesome, like a GTA World or something like that. So anyways, from there, you guys, yeah, just wanted to go ahead and touch base and let you guys know that it looks like, yep, a chunk of the map has been leaked today, and I wanted to go ahead and talk about this and make a video. But from there, would love to hear what your guys' thoughts are on this subject down in the comment sections below, so definitely hit that up so I can go ahead and read all that stuff and interact with you guys. Uh, but other than that, uh, once again, hope you guys are doing good. Have an awesome rest of the day. Thank you for watching. My name is Gravesite. And I will see you in the next one. So, peace.